Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be installing macOS 9 on a Apple Silicon Mac. We will be using UTM to install it, and the steps are going to be so easy. We are not going to be using the CLR, QEMU stuff. We are going to be using just UTM, and it's going to be damn easy. So now, let's get started. <music> First of all, let's open Safari and go to UTM Gallery. The UTM Gallery can be also opened directly from UTM by clicking the plus button and uh, clicking on Go to Gallery. So once you go to UTM Gallery, you'll see various operating systems that are fully tested and working on UTM. So there, there are operating systems including Ubuntu, Windows 10, 11, 7 and XP. But our target here is Mac OS 9.2.1. So that's a power PC based operating system. So let's click on it and then you will be prompted with this web page. So here you will get two options. Want to download a .utm file. So this will download a zip file. Then uh, once you extract that zip, it will uh, download, sorry, it will show you a .utm file. Once you click it, it will open UTM and automatically create a virtual machine for you. But a more easier way is to just click the open in UTM button. This will automatically open UTM. So just click allow and download the virtual machine straight in UTM. So let me meet you after it gets downloaded. As you can see, our virtual machine has got downloaded. So here you can see the configuration and stuff. And if you have some problems, like if the VM won't start, your device may not support the audio sampling rate. So you can just try, uh, you know, disable audio sound and try that again. So here you can see we have got 5 megabytes of memory and a power pc based architecture uh, cpu and the size of this virtual machine is just 308 megabytes so that's it so now let's power up this virtual machine so here as you can see we are on the bios and it's booting mac os 9 here we can see the happy mac and we are booting into mac os 9 so it might take a while if you feel the virtual machine a little slow for you or if you just want to increase the speed you can just go ahead and increase the ram or the storage whatever you want to increase so here we are having mac os 9 and yes you don't need to install it it's it come it's come uh, it's coming already installed so you just need to go through the setup as you can see Mac OS setup assistant. So right now my mouse is not moving. By the way, it's still captured inside the virtual machine. So what you need to do is just uh, go to this bar and click on this capture mouse pointer. Yeah, capture mouse cursor. Yeah, just click on it and it will capture the mouse cursor to the virtual machine. So now it's my as you can see my mouse cursor is working. And so let's go through the setup. Welcome to the Mac OS Setup Assistant. Okay, let's click on next. Okay, let me okay, let me continue with US. Okay, let me enter my name and continue. Continue. Uh let's see. Oh, I, I can see new Delhi here. Okay, new Delhi. Continue. Okay, do you want simple? Okay, no, I don't want to continue. Okay, continue. I can't computer continue. Okay, I have not pro okay so for that. Let me enter my password. Let me just write it like one, two, three, four. Continue. Okay, continue. Go ahead and it's syncing all the settings so it's telling mac i set up assistant is done the assistant was able to complete all of its tasks successfully so if you want to set up internet on the virtual machine you can just uh, click on continue but i'd like to quit 
and here we go here we are having a virtual machine so in order to change the resolution just go and click this icon oops this icon and then choose a resolution i like to choose this one okay that's too small okay this fine for me okay now we are having more space for multitasking so first of all let's us uh, open with something like calculator oops not there okay oh you are having apple system profiler and serial number now duplicable mac os yeah so now let's open um calculator and so here we go i think this uh, calculator uh is from mac os i think system 1.0 because it looks similar and it has those black and white buttons no color at all then let's open hmm, uh what's keycaps okay it's a virtual keyboard if you don't know there was a third party touchscreen mac uh, which ha was having a touchscreen with pen and you can just interact with it that was the first touchscreen mac ever and yeah i think that this was for the touchscreen mac and then speakable items and then yeah we are having some uh you know basic applications so now let's try to change the colors um let us see 256 grays and we are having black and white then we are having 256 colors okay doesn't give us the mac os pattern wallpaper right there but we can see there's not much different in color but if you do millions of colors we'll see the pattern the colors are more so more better and so let us go and see okay special anti-trash okay so let's see finder at that time okay system folder okay apple menu items so if you want something to appear on menu or if you just want to remove something you can like just uh, let me draw a calculator here and now the calculator would dis disappear from the apple menu and if i place it back it would again appear as you can see let me just confirm that again okay here yeah you can't see the calculator and yeah so that's it let's see if internet work okay your computer is not set up for internet okay okay i don't know uh, i'll just quit quit and yeah mm -hmm. okay so yeah that's it that's the mac os 9 you can't do much here uh it's just for the demo purpose how mac uh, uh we're looking in the late 90s and yeah that's it oh so let's uh look at some screen savers if there are it's in monitors now it's not and or it's in appearance no so let's change the theme here nope not at all and okay this look decent okay there's no such option for screensaver energy saver there's no screensaver i think so okay um that's it thanks for watching and that's it that's the macros 9 thanks for watching and let me see you in my next video